How Iran jammed the U.S. Navy P-8 Poseidon reconnaissance aircraft and spied on F-35 radar emissions. The managing director of Iran Electronics Industries, a division of the Ministry of Defense, emphasized Iran's advancements in thwarting enemy electronic warfare in a comprehensive and important interview. According to Brigadier General Amir Rastagari, Iranian experts have developed cutting-edge technology that is utilized in electronic warfare to identify and take action against a variety of wavelengths and frequencies. Iran can now keep an eye on all electromagnetic spectrum and launch the required offensive operations against them. He said some time ago, an enemy aircraft moved within our FIR, flight information region, borders and began sending out waves to gather intelligence. We jammed this aircraft, but the enemy pilot believed his system was not working properly, and so he contacted the base to report his return from the operation. General Rastagari stated, Iran has a record of his communications. The next day two more enemy planes flew and started flying wing by wing, and this time we jammed both of them because we achieved that capability in that range. As soon as we started jamming them, those two aircraft realized that our ground systems were jamming them, and they informed their base that they would not be able to complete the operation. That is the capability that armed forces have today, and we can jam whenever we see a threat at a distance of several hundred kilometers. We have the fingerprint of the enemy's electronic equipment. Just as fingerprints are unique to humans, so are electromagnetic systems, and we have been achieving this technology for several years. For example, when the radar of an F-35 fighter is activated, it emits waves that are different from the radar of another F-35 fighter, and we are now able to detect that, which means we can receive and analyze the telecommunications, radio and electromagnetic signals of a fighter and find out which fighter it is, and when that same fighter is put back into service a year later, we can find out which fighter it is. So we are able to monitor the whole spectrum of the electromagnetic waves of the enemy and attack accordingly. In this case the attack is much easier, for example, if a radar emits its waves with a power of several hundred kilowatts to several megawatts, we are able to saturate the radar receiver with a few watts. We already did that, and the enemy got a test of it when we jammed their aircrafts. Thanks for watching and see you next time.